We are now going to solve problems using formulas. And these formulas could be anything. They could be geometry formulas, they could be economic formulas. They're just formulas that are suggested by the problem that allow us to take the information we have and solve a problem. So the first example we're going to look at relates to a swimming pool. Suppose we have a perimeter of a swimming pool. We know that the swimming pool has a perimeter of 180 feet. We also know that the length of the pool is 10 feet more than the width. Can we use this information to figure out what the dimensions of the pool are, what the length and the width are? Well, remember, it, it gives us a big clue by saying find the perimeter. But the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We also know, if we have our W and our L, that our L happens to be 10 feet more than the width. And this more than, the then here is a keyword. It means we're going to switch the order when we write in math. The width comes first, and then we add, because more than means add, 10. So wherever I see an L, I can actually replace it with W plus 10. Likewise, wherever I see a P, I can replace it with 180. So now I have 180 equals 2 times W plus 10 plus 2W. Well, let's distribute. Combine like terms. And I'm going to move the 20, because I already have the 4w by itself on this side. So all the w's are already on the right. So let's move the constant, minus 20. You get 160 equals 4w. Divide by 4. We'll switch our order now. w is 40, or suggested to be 40 feet. Well, if w is 40, then we can come back here. We can plug it in. This is 40 plus 10 which is 50. So it says my length would be 50 and my width would be 40. And that's 10 feet more, so that part works. But let's make sure it works for the original. It does 180 equal 2 times 50 plus 2 times 40. Well, that's 180 equals 2 times 50 is 100. 2 times 40 is 80. 100 plus 80 is 180. Sure enough, both sides work. So my dimensions are the length is 50, the width is 40, or we have a 40 by 50 swimming pool.